hello so this is eleven physics uh, and this is winter 21 paper 1 variant 1 so let's start with question number 1 question number 1 says that what is essential when recording a measurement of a physical quantity for a physical quantity what you need is a unit and a number so B is the appropriate answer Question number two says to find the SI base units of mu where E is charge, M is mass and T is the time. So that makes up mu equals Q over mass multiplied by time. So this would be I T square over mass. So that would become ampere second square kg minus one. So that would make up B the proper answer question number three says that <clears throat> there is an aircraft which has an a velocity relative to air 800 km per hour with angle theta from north and the wind velocity is 200 km per hour in this direction west and the resultant velocity of the aircraft is in a direction due north so let's make up a triangle so this is our vector triangle this is the velocity of the aircraft relative to air this is the velocity of air which is 200 this is 800 and we need to find this this makes up 90 degrees so that's a right angle triangle so we need to find vr so vr could be find from Pythagoras theorem vr equals square root of 800 square minus 200 square so which would make up 774 774 kilometers per hour so 770 770 now let's find the angle theta so this theta is this thing so this is our angle theta so we can find it from sine theta sine theta equals 200 over 800 which makes theta equals sine inverse of 2 by 8 or 1 by 4 as 14.4 degrees. So A is our appropriate answer. So the next question says to find the time based setting of the CRO. <coughs> the frequency is given as 2000 Hz, so which is 0 0.0005 seconds. This is the time period and it says to find the time based setting on the CRO. Let's supply the formula. So the wave completes and complete in four blocks. So four blocks multiplied by the time base setting equals to the time period which is 0 0.0005. So the time base setting becomes 0 0.0005 divided by 4, which makes up 0 0.00125, which is 125 microseconds per centimeter so a is our proper answer question number five says that four possible sources of error in a series of measurements are listed an analog meter whose scale is read from different angles so this is basically a random error a meter who always reads five percent too high systematic error a meter with a needle that is not frictionless so the needle sometimes slicks slightly so that is also a random error and a meter with a zero error that is a systematic error so seeing the table we get b the proper answer systematic is one and three and uh, random is one and three and systematic is two and four so question number six says that an archer shoots an arrow at a target the graph shows three quantities p q and r that vary with time which quantity could be the horizontal component of displacement and which quantity could be the vertical component of displacement for horizontal con displacement we need to realize that the horizontal component with horizontal velocity remains constant so if the horizontal velocity remains constant so the displacement time graph would be a straight line so this is the horizontal component this would be the horizontal component q and the displacement the vertical component of displacement would be this thing r because that varies accordingly so our answer would be b 
So question number seven says the two cars x and y are positioned. <coughs> car x moves at 30 meters per second, car y moves at 20 meters per second and they are both 50 meters apart. What is the value of t when x is level with level uh, with y? So the displacement of x is 30 into t. t is the time when with both level up and s of y displacement of y is 20 t. And we know or we already know that the distance between them is 50 meters. So Sx minus Sy equals 50. 30t minus 20t equals 50. 10t equals 50. And t equals 5 seconds. So D is the appropriate answer. Question number 8 says that the which graph shows the time with momentum of the object. Momentum versus time graph. We know the formula force is equal to rate of change of momentum. So change in momentum is force multiplied by time and momentum is directly proportional to time. So this would be a linear curve. So C seems to be the appropriate answer. Question number 9 says the which statement must be true for an object to be in gravitational field. The, if the object has mass, then the field calls it to accelerate. No, it can also move with constant velocity. If the object has mass, then the field calls it to have weight, yes, because W is equal to mg. That seems to be the correct option. Question number 10 says that the ball of mass 0.16 kg is traveling horizontally at a speed of 20 meters per second. It collides and rebounds with speed 15 meters per second. The ball is in contact in time of 1 millisecond. What is the average force exerted by the ball on the wall on the ball? <coughs> so force is change in momentum over total time. Force can be written as mv minus u over time and force can further be written as mass is 0.16 kgs velocity is considering the rebound velocity to be 15 15 minus minus 20 divided by the time of contact is 1 millisecond So this makes up 5600 newton. D is the appropriate answer. Question number 11 says that a uniform solid block is fully submerged in a tank of water and is held at distance D. What changes would increase the magnitude of the upthrust force on the block? Upthrust would only change if this distance is being altered. So it decrease the density of the block the density of the block does not so it says that what single change would increase the magnitude of the upthrust force on the block so pressure is force over area and force is pressure into area the force could be written as rho g h into area so the upthrust force would increase if these factors are changed or this rho density is the density of liquid so increasing the dimension y would increase the magnitude of the stress density of the block density of the block is not and hold the block horizontally would not increase or decrease the magnitude of the thrust force. So C is the appropriate answer. That's it for our vi this video. Do like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.